In this video, I'm going to introduce a positive sequence extraction method from three-phase and balanced voltage source. The main idea is to filter out the AC component in the synchronous reference frame and use the DC component to calculate the amplitude and initial phase of positive sequence. A simulation is built by Simlink to verify the method. At first, to do the simulation, we need to build an unbalanced voltage source. As usually, three-phase unbalanced voltage is composed of positive, negative, zero sequence. And sometimes it also contains harmonic sequence. So we connect all these sequence voltage source in series. Look inside the mask of each source. They are easily built by three single phase AC voltage source with different parameters. In order to change the parameter easily, I added the mask by mask editor. And the setting is this way. Here's some drawing commands. Here's the dialog parameters. And we can use this panel to change the parameter easily. Secondly, I'm going to introduce how to extract the positive sequence as is shown in this model with blue background. I used the algorithm to do the job. And the C32 block and the C block our subsystem contains some little blocks. And the phase generator is used to generate the phase of a sine wave with 50 Hz. Look inside the block, I write a function with this code. Here's two mean filters. And these two filters are used to filter out AC component. And its fundamental frequency is said to be 100 Hz. At the right side, two math operations are used to calculate the initial phase and amplitude of positive sequence. I also put some scores to view the results. Now let's run the simulation. In this unbalanced voltage scope, we can see the waveform of the unbalanced voltage source, which contains four different components, positive, negative, zero, and the harmonic sequence. Then, let's check the mean filter scope. In this scope, we can find out that after the mean filter, the AC component of signal P and Q is filtered out, and the signal only contains DC component. And using this DC component, we can get the initial phase and the amplitude of positive sequence as shown in here, in these two displays. This is the end. Thanks very much.